What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and I'm back with another desk setup tech episode with some home products as well. And this is my first desk setup guide for 2023. We spent the last couple months curating a bunch of products, especially after the holiday season. And we've definitely found a cool lineup here. So I'm really excited to show you. If you guys would like me to check out any other desk setup product in future episodes, we plan to do this series very regularly, just like last year. So make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you would like to win an item from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with your Instagram username. And I'll be contacting a winner in two weeks directly on Instagram. Just don't respond to any of the spam comments below. So for those who are looking for a great set of headphones, we've checked out a huge variety on the channel in the past couple years. But some people just like to have a traditional studio headphone and a company that has been around for quite a while now because I actually reviewed it way back in the day is called III. This right here is the TMA2 Move Wireless Headphone, and it really embraces the characteristics of the original TMA1s, both in terms of the design, but most importantly, the sound quality, which has been evolved to also include the wireless versions that are available today. There's both the Move model as well as the Studio Wireless Plus, which we're gonna check out in a future video, but I think this is a really good option at a price point of under $200. It arrives in a box where you actually get to assemble it yourself, which is a bit fun, but relatively straightforward and easy and it has this beautiful lightweight matte black finish that is very versatile but also high quality. It features Reprave memory foam ear cups that are very light but at the same time mold to the ear lightly without having to compress your head when you're wearing them which is something that I definitely notice on the very popular Apple AirPods Max. I think like the actual cushion and design here is nice that it's easily replaceable where you can just like swap them out whenever you need to but at the same time the headband has a nice level of firmness as well. That way it stays in place. The side also shows the coiled cable, which I really like. And as you connect the drivers together, you just go ahead and set up the Bluetooth process and it works just like any wireless headphone. It features Bluetooth 5.0 technology, which is very reliable and a listen time of up to 40 hours and it recharges via USB type C. It also features a multi-directional joystick control, which is very unique for an over-ear headphone because typically you just have to like blindly press all the different buttons along here to change your music, play pause, and also the volume. So I find this approach is a lot more intuitive. When it comes to the sound quality, it features a 40 millimeter biocellulose driver, which gives very minimal distortion. And when it comes to the sound characteristic, I think III has always been very realistic in its sound representation, which is perfect for monitoring. It doesn't give you way too much bass. It doesn't try to amplify the highs or anything, but I find that it is a very balanced and muted tone, which actually has a lot of the same characteristics as the Audio-Technica ATH-M50s. And I think when it comes to video editing and you wanna hear the audio for what it is, but also have like good sound characteristics and clarity, this gets that job done. At the price point of under $200, this model makes a lot of sense to have at your desk set up. But in a future video, we're gonna be talking about the TMA2 Studio Wireless Plus, which is low latency, which can be very good for casual gaming as well as editing, where you need minimal latency to be able to keep up, especially if you're gonna be using a wireless setup. It is really trying to deliver a zero compromise wireless listening experience. <laughs> So this next product right here is one that I've admittingly wanted to check out for quite a while now. I mean, I would just usually go on Instagram and see different desk setups and inspirations, especially ones that are tagged on our page, iSetups. And every time I saw this, it really caught my eye and it's available in black as well as silver. It is the Monogram Creative Console and they have a lot of different configurations on their website that include ones for like photographers, maybe video creatives, or you can literally build your own and attach different tiles and program it exactly the way that you would like. But honestly, when I first tested out products like this, such as like the Loop Deck, for example, I couldn't really get used to using it just because I was used to using the mouse and keyboard. And it wasn't until I purchased the DaVinci panel for editing and color grading that I figured using a panel can literally be a night and day difference when it comes to productivity and trying to go through batches of work very quickly. So with this, you have to go ahead and customize it. And there are different buttons and dials included in this kit right here. And the one that we have 
have is a Creative Console Studio. I personally like to use this for photo editing because there are different parameters of a photo that I control all the time. And instead of having to use the mouse, if you're going through a huge batch of photos, you're able to browse through that a lot quicker. And I just love the way it looks on the desk. I just can't stress that enough. These buttons are all very tactile and intuitive. There's also a bit of a dial right here. And the screen is also able to display information and everything connects with the tile that is a configuration that makes sense for you. I would say in the beginning, just go ahead and play around with it, figure out what apps and settings you would like to have. And after a few weeks, you'll be able to pick up on tendencies for yourself as to what configuration is the most comfortable and what is able to contribute to the fastest workflow possible. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to creative work, it is all about speed and quality. So one of the most important accessories at my desk is always the Thunderbolt dock. It allows us to expand the port capabilities of any laptop or computer. And in the past generation, I had quite a few Thunderbolt 3 docks and before that it was Thunderbolt 2. But now we're in a new era of Thunderbolt 4 and more and more products are now utilizing that new standard and speed. And especially when it comes to the new Apple products such as the new MacBooks as well as the Mac Studio and hopefully the Mac Pro soon. This right here is the CalDigit TS4 Thunderbolt 4 dock. The TS3 was widely regarded in the industry as the gold standard when it comes to Thunderbolt docks because believe it or not, even though they were very expensive, some were better than others and I always found the CalDigit one to be very, very reliable. In total, it gives you 18 different forms of I.O., including USB-C data on the front here. So if you have a product that doesn't necessarily need the Thunderbolt speeds, you can plug that in the front. You have an SD card slot for full size and micro SD, which I use on a daily basis. You have a USB-A charging port, a headphone jack, and on the back, you also have a DisplayPort 1.4, USB-C data, two Thunderbolt ports, one that has to go to your computer, as well as two more charging ports, two more USB-A ports, a 2.5 gigabit E port, as well as more audio inputs. But in total, I would say from an IO standpoint, having two additional Thunderbolt ports, as well as the data, the charging, as well as the display port and all that stuff is more than enough when it comes to expanding the capability of one port. And one of my favorite improvements of the new line of Apple computers, specifically the Mac Studio, is that each one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports has their own bus. Before I ran into a ton of issues on my Mac Pro where I had just too much stuff plugged into all the ports that it would limit the speed of each one. So now I'm able to take advantage of the ports to their fastest capabilities individually. And an accessory like this, having one or two at the desk is a game changer. So this next product right here is one that is good for the bedside table or your desk setup because it is just super practical and simple, but it makes sense. I've seen it around for quite a while now, but I finally picked it up because it was on sale and this is called the, the Night Watch. It is able to magnify what is displayed on your Apple Watch screen to make it larger so you can see what time it is and have your alarm clock and everything, but it also amplifies the sound acoustically so you can hear your alarm clock a bit better. It's just like a piece of plastic that you can see it's like a crystal ball, but I think it's super smart because you can just set up your charging stand to this product right here. And I mean, there's not really much to say about it, but I think it is one that everyone should pick up if you're an Apple Watch user. It is compatible with many generations of the Apple Watch, so you don't have to worry about anything there. But yeah, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. So this next product right here is really good for any home or office and it is called the Enabot Ebo X. And I wanna give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So I feel like this is a really funny like accessory that you can have roaming around the house or office space to monitor your place at all times. It's no secret that our office has a lot of tech products. And so even though we have like a smart security system, having a product like this that is able to physically roam around is really interesting and unique. And honestly, it's something that I haven't seen before. Upon unboxing, you can see it's like a little robot pod and it has like a cool animation that almost looks like an animal or a pet that is running around your house and the camera pops up from the top and is able to monitor its surroundings. It also serves two other functions though, including a smart home companion by being able to communicate with members in the house, as well as an entertainment device with a speaker that is built in and you're able to just have it like roam around the house and you can play music directly on it, which I think is relatively interesting as an all-in-one smart home product. 
Starting out with the home security aspect, it features VSLAM navigation technology, and with the smart mapping, obstacle avoidance, and auto back to charge technology, it is able to navigate the house and set itself a suite of routines while also being able to go back and charge when it's needed, very similar to smart robot vacuums out there. It has edge detection as well as obstacle avoidance. So as it navigates around your house, you can ensure that it's not gonna get stuck. And when it comes to the camera itself, it is an eight megapixel stabilized camera with color night vision. So the image quality is super clear. And after it's mapped your entire place, you can actually set certain areas and zones for the Enabot to patrol within certain hours and it will notify you if anybody or anything gets into that area. So it is essentially setting up like a physical security device to roam around and keep an eye out when you're not home or maybe just can't see the spot that you're looking to monitor from where you are. It also has two-way communication with family members and friends and the ability to leave voice messages. So say you're away but you want to talk to somebody then you're able to have the Enabot actually go there and it's just like a very fun and interactive experience that once again I've never seen before. Different family members can also log in and almost join a group call and I think this is like a very unique scenario where if you have a pet who is at home and you want to be able to interact with your pet while you're out as a family you're able to just set it up with the Enabot and the Enabot can actually go to the location and monitor what your pet is doing while also being able to speak to your pet and hopefully it doesn't scare them. Another very interesting feature is that the Enabot can also deliver reminders to certain family members. So you have like an elderly family member who has to take medication at certain times, or you want your kid to defrost the chicken because you're gonna be making dinner in a few hours. And honestly, I forgot to do that so many times and, and uh, went with alternative methods. So the options are essentially limitless, but from a technical standpoint, the Enabot is amazing at navigating the place, knowing when to go back to its dock for charging. It has a high quality 4K camera, as well as different restrictions and zones that you can set for it to avoid or stay within. From a speaker standpoint, it also has Harman Audio integrated, so it's able to deliver relatively powerful sound as well as a pretty good level of sound quality while navigating around the house and providing entertainment for everyone. The Evo X Family Robot Companion is a multimodal AI platform with high resolution motion control system and the design intention is to use the robot's vision, hearing, touch and flexible mobility and fluent expression help people cross the space to time barrier and enhance the emotional connection and meet deep companion needs of modern families. In the world of smart home tech products today, I feel like there's a lot of products that are very similar and do the exact same thing, which is really good, but I feel like the Enabot Evo X is truly unique and it fills a void when it comes to companionship as well as security in a new method, all within one product that showcases the technological capabilities of both AI and hardware technology. So if you guys wanna go in and check it out for yourself, just go ahead and see the top link in the description section below, and a huge thanks to Enabot once again for sponsoring this video. So this next product right here is the KeySmart Wireless Charging Task Mat. If you're looking for a desk setup mat that is able to provide functionality, this is one that you can pick up because it essentially kills two birds with one stone. Instead of having to have a power cable, you naturally always set your phone on the table. And so having a wireless charging pad that is fast, has an indicator, but also has overheat protection is super handy. I always like to have a desk mat because I find I scratch my desks all the time with keys, watches, and phones. And so this black leather finish is really nice and it is also water resistant. So if you eat at your desk, you don't have to worry about it as well. Being able to put your phone on the corner is probably the best feature of it because you can honestly find a much cheaper desk mat that doesn't have this function and still looks exactly the same. But I think for my desk setup, I really like to have a wireless charger because my phone is always out of battery. In terms of size, it is plenty of room to have on your desk. And if you have like a large keyboard with the number pad as well as a mouse, there's a ton of space to move around. But from an aesthetic standpoint, it is super simple. It is about $120 though, so you have to kind of decide for yourself whether that dual functionality is worth the money. Because I would say if you want to go ahead and buy a synthetic leather desk mat, you could probably find one for like $20 or $30. And if you want to buy a wireless charging pad, I can link you guys one for $10. Bucks. So you save a lot of money there. But if you're looking for like an all-in-one product, then this is definitely an option. But I would say it is probably like $30 to $40 overpriced in my opinion. 
They also make a TaskPad Mini for half the price, which if you just need a mouse pad and a wireless charging setup, then that's one that you should definitely check out. But I usually like to have one large desk mat because a lot of times I find my mouse is always in a different spot, especially with the desk setup shifting around all the time. So lately, Apple has been making some updates to some products that we've been waiting for for quite a while now, including the Apple TV and the original Apple HomePod. I know they have the Apple HomePod mini, but with a whole focus on spatial audio and different optimizations, Apple figured it was time to update their original HomePod, which actually still sounds really good. So this year's refresh features a five tweeter array compared to previously seven, as well as a four mic design compared to the six before. And it also has a four inch high extrusion woofer for clear distortion and free sound. It's also powered by Apple's new 64-bit S7 chip, which is actually used in the Apple Watch Series 7. It's still available in black and white, and a lot of people might have wanted to see different colors, kind of like the Apple HomePod Mini, but if you want to tie together the entire ecosystem with HomeKit as well as Apple Music, then you're able to set up a really nice stereo sound experience, and for friends that do have the Apple ecosystem, I absolutely love the sound that it's able to deliver. It definitely doesn't try to be like the loudest and most powerful speaker out there, but with the spatial audio and optimizations, you can definitely notice how it is able to tune the audio effectively, similar to the great experience that we get on the Apple AirPods, for example. Another under the hood improvement is temperature and humidity sensors. So you could set up with Apple HomeKit to tie in with your thermostat and ask Siri to either adjust or notify you of the temperature and humidity to adjust accordingly to your preferences based on the Apple HomePod's readings. So depending on where you have this around the room, you can kind of set it up in a way where you can have the temperature read to you from that room. And I've definitely noticed that this function is very useful because the temperature in the living room compared to the home office is usually quite different because I have a ton of tech in the office. So if you're looking for a really good setup, it's now $299. And if you want to pair this with multiple HomePods or the HomePod mini, that is where I feel like you're going to get the best experience and take advantage of the Apple ecosystem at its best. So this product right here is the Lark water bottle. And I know we've actually checked out the Lark Pure Vis water pitcher, which is great to have around the house, but this is like the original product, which is funny because I actually had the Pure Vis before I picked this up. This is a really handy accessory because even though it has a relatively high price point for a water bottle, it has a practical functionality to it in which it purifies the inside of the bottle as well as the water. You just go ahead and fill it up as you would and you just press the button and it will actually run a cycle and is able to eliminate 99% of E. coli and bacteria because bacteria can build up in the water bottle, especially throughout like certain days. So that takes care of the process, which is great. There are quite a few models, but this is the one that I picked up on sale and it charges via a micro USB cable, but I believe the newer ones charge with USB type C. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as I mentioned, we've got the setup makeover coming back finally after a couple years off with like inventory and just being way too busy with travel. But I'll see you all in the next one.